Okay, so we would just be carrying this out as a workshop, kind of talking to other faculty members and people um, having similar lessons. Ours was particularly geared to third grade about how we would talk about disabilities in general. So that would be maybe the unit. And then we're gonna key in on Down syndrome, which would be the first day of these lessons. So like she said, we're gonna start off the whole lesson and um, actual thing with a book that's not just about Down syndrome, but about disabilities as a whole and how in a classroom and just like all throughout life, they're individual needs and how it's not so different from ours and how we should really be inclusive. Special. Some children find it really hard to join in some sports and games in the playground. How can you tell which ones? You probably picked out the girl in the wheelchair. Lots of people would guess that because she has a disability. She wouldn't be interested in sports. Actually, it's this boy. He hates sports because he can't run as fast as his friends and he always gets pushed around. Sometimes when we see people who are different from us, we assume things about them that are not always true. When you assume, you are just making a guess. Assuming things about people can hurt their feelings and make them feel very left out. Everybody in the world is unique. That means every one of us is a little different from everyone else. We each have things that we can do easily and things that we find hard and need help with. If you need glasses to see or special scissors to cut with, you are using special equipment to help you do your best. Children with disabilities often use helpful equipment too. They use ramps to make getting from one place to another easier. They have special toilets and sinks or special types of mice and keyboards to help them use the computer. Some children are born with a disability and some have a disability because they've had an illness or have been in an accident. There are many different types of disabilities. There are some where parts of your body don't work so well. There are some that make it hard to learn as fast as others. Years ago, children with disabilities went to special schools with special teachers. Because of this, people started calling them special. Today, many people with disabilities dislike being called special because it makes them sound too different from everyone else. Now, many children with disabilities go to ordinary schools. That's because we know that the world is more interesting when we can all be together and learn from each other. And even though children with disabilities may sometimes look different on the outside, inside they are just like you. They feel angry and sad when they are teased, and they feel happy and confident when they are accepted. Some children with disabilities have extra teachers or helpers who work with them at school and at home. Sometimes these helpers are adults, and sometimes they are children in the class. A helper's job is just to help. It can be very upsetting when the helper tries to do everything. No two people learn things in the same way or at the same speed. Some children who have a disability take longer to do or learn things, and they do them in a different way. But sometimes they can do things better and learn things faster than others. We all need to work and play together. And with a little extra help, children with disabilities can learn and grow and do the things they want to just like everybody else. So I would also suggest getting this book and actually reading it to them because you can stop and like at parts where they're talking about the two different categories of born, being born with it or having an accident, you can stop and say like, well, uh, Down syndrome, which we're gonna be talking about, you're born with it kind of thing, so maybe go more in depth with the book. And then like you would just like give them some more background information. So like Jen said, um, it's something that individuals are born with. It's an intellectual and a developmental disability. Um, 
But even with that, as long as individuals and families have the right supports that they can be functioning in society, they can have jobs, they can live on their own. Um, and that like they could be in the school, but they might be in a different classroom or they might not be able to participate in things like gym class, but even because of that, that they're still like a human and have feelings. Um, because one of the biggest things with someone that has Down syndrome is a lot of them are born with heart problems and will even have multiple surgeries as infants on their heart. So you just like kind of start a discussion about that. Um, some children might even have family members that have Down syndrome. So you would just like kind of get them thinking more specifically about this one disability for this day. So the next video we're going to present is of a speech from Frank Stevens, and he is an advocate of uh, disabilities. And he himself has a disability, which is Down syndrome. In the speech, he is going to address about how he is like any other human being. The only thing he needs is some help, some guidance. Um, his disability should not prevent him from having a career, which he clearly does have. So um, let's proceed with the video. The key is right there in my opening paragraph. It begins with, I am a man. See me as a human being, not a birth defect, not a syndrome. I don't need to be eradicated. I don't need to be cured. I need to be loved, valued educated and sometimes helped. <clears throat> what should that help be? Provide training to parents and babies as soon as possible. Provide medical care, eye, eye exams and glasses. Send us to, send us to school with with everyone else. Provide job training and coaches until we learn to work on our own. Most of all, expect competence, not failure. By the way, the cost of the cost to the, the, the rest of you for of providing that help. It's the cost of a single cup of coffee per month. So as you can see, um, this inspirational speech was actually given at a conference in the United Nations. And um, he is addressing what everyone needs who has a disability, just some help. And like I said, he's just saying that he is just like anyone else that just needs some guidance. So another activity we would continue on with would be um, something that got the kids like more um, physically involved and um, hands on. So we would do an activity like putting on gloves like this and then having them carry out activities that you would carry out every day that would be, um, they would under, they would come to the realization that it um, might be challenging for them to carry out. Like things like picking up a pencil, writing, you know, buttoning up your shirt, simple tasks that would help them have a better understanding and more hands-on experience to understand that the challenges that someone with autism might be facing. Um, so we're going to give an example of how a person without Down syndrome can, could easily write. So, so we could write, you know, have them write out something on top that you would do just with um, without the glove and then have them do it with the glove under it to see how it might look different or how even understand what it might feel like to have maybe you be discouraged or struggle or be frustrated trying to carry it out. Right, because they have difficulty with fine motor skills. So um, it doesn't only have to be with a pencil and um, their paper. They can do it, just like she said, um, a button up. Um, it, it, it can be very difficult. So uh, presenting that to the students would be an amazing project. And you can even do like stations and having them carry out different activities, opening, closing containers, like we said, buttons, writing with a pencil. You can make them, you know, rotate and do things like that to, to have a better understanding. Even zippers can be good too because they're like grasping that. Yeah. 
it's all just to kind of get them more aware of other people around them and um, see that like if they're if someone with Down syndrome is in a classroom with all of them like they may need more time to write or like different things to write and to understand why instead of just assuming oh well it's because that person can't do it it's not really that so right. and maybe even just having a better understanding to be more understanding of the challenges that they might be facing every day. 